back again. It is the rhyme animal. This time, we got somebody different. We've swapped out the women at the Cheap Seats residence. It's a midweek trip to Universal today. And that's because today is the debut of the new Universal Studios Parade. It's something I've been looking forward to for maybe close to a year at this point. And the new Universal Parade is gonna feature some classic Universal properties. None more importantly than Ghostbusters. And we've done a bunch of videos at Universal recently because quite honestly, Universal, banging out new thing after new thing after new thing. We did a full video tour of the Epic Universe Preview Center. I'll put a link to that up above. We're just showing Jess all of the new at the Epic Universe Center. A lot of the virtual reality or AR or augmented reality stuff in there rather is working great with not a lot of people in there. To the left at the fountains, they've moved the beat builders out here. They're not in the studios park at this point. Coming up on studios. We have a Minion on display out here because the new Minion movie or Despicable Me 4 opens today in theaters. I feel like they're way past four at this point. But maybe that's just me. So today is July 3rd, 2024. Real feel, well north of 100 degrees, but not a rain cloud in the sky, although we'll knock on fake wood at the moment. By the way, just a month and change before Halloween Horror Night season. I'm thinking it's going to be a very hot and a very wet Halloween Horror Nights year. Universal's largest daytime parade ever. That's why we're here. Also, Universal today debuting new interactive bubble wands. They interact with the parade that's going to be going by, as well as other bubble wands. This one is probably my favorite. All right, so we made our way back by DreamWorks Land. Super busy now. Shrek meet and greet. The whole gang is out. Busy Brady. She's been around too fast. She knocked somebody out with it. It's a beefy brain. You just whip your head and just knocks it. She got that too. She Over by the frogs. Only some of them are working now. Kung Fu Panda is the place to be. <laughs> you didn't pull it hard enough. Oh yeah. It looks like Poe is getting ready for his next show. The Poe Show. Time to hunt some aliens. We've made it in. And there's some folks doing the immigration tour down below. You can do that if you ask at the front. I want to point out that this piece of the ceiling fell down probably like six or seven years ago and they patched it, but never fixed it. My name is Darth Vader. I come from the planet Vulcan. Two and a half hours before the parade starts, people have camped their spots out already. Not I. I seek refuge in AC in the horror makeup show. How's it hanging, icons, dudes? And so the show is fully packed. Those last rows are gonna be safe for handicapped, accessible, and last minute people that roll in here. But everyone's seeking air conditioning. Schwarzenegger is going to say, hello kids, look at me, I'm Eddie, hello, hello Hunter, I live under your bed. 
Put your hand over your stomach. Go ahead and take a little bow. Come back up. Put your hand down by your side. Let's hear it for Gabriella! Yeah! Can we get that off your hand, so Gabriella? Very cool. Perfect. I'm going to hand you. this back to you because I have something Thank for Gabriella. You. This will explain things to your therapist. How about a big round of applause for the lovely Gabriella? Thank, Thank you, Gabriella. Thank you so much. Watch your step there. Let's keep it going for her. A little more than an hour to go before this starts, but it's like a who's who of the vlogosphere here today. So when I was young, there was a big, like, super giant comic of Superman versus Muhammad Ali. That cover of the comic was famous because it contained all kinds of famous people all around looking at this one main event. That's kind of like the vlogosphere here today. You can just take a picture and blur on everything and then put a little line and number next to everybody in the key of, like, who's actually here. In technical rehearsal. So the next funny thing even about that sign, months ago when they did their press release for the summer stuff, they announced that this was the opening day. All of the signs around the park said today was the opening day. As of yesterday, they started saying it's in technical rehearsal. I think by saying technical rehearsal really kind of just gives them an out because they've had a couple of issues with a couple of folks that may or may not actually be ready in prime time for today's launch. This place is really packed out here, but in the meantime, trouble overhead. Perhaps Mother Nature has other plans for today. It's a who's who of Universal waiting for this to start, but there is lightning and thunder in the distance. And team members have the warning already, so will they proceed? I don't know. Oh my god, 15 minutes to go! Are you excited? Oh my god, 10 minutes! Are you ready? Extreme close-up. Jess is being extremely tolerant for her father today because our asses are on fire sitting on this thing. And I'm trying to be cordial so that the folks behind me are not blocked either. But we've been sitting here for 90, se 90, 90 seconds, 90 minutes. What little ass I had has burnt away at this point. Are these conversations that are taking place discussing whether they'll move forward or not? Seems like it's a go. Roller coasters have stopped for the day. Lightning is about 10 miles out. Is it a go? The parade is delayed <laughs> due to inclement weather. Oh my. Five after six, we're still in a delay. All of the management is wandering around. The weather is literally to the top of us and to the west of us, but not going to hit us directly. <laughs> it's gonna happen. Super packed house with anticipation. One minute to showtime. What if the parade is nothing but secret life of pets? Stationary animatronics.
definitely a very slim chance will survive.
rain is just really starting to come down after the parade went through. It comes back this way, which we figured we'd take photos. Uh, it's clear that way. All right, so we watched this parade going and then coming back, and it was pouring when we were coming back, so some of the performers not on the floats, but some of this stuff is just absolutely amazing. Some of it, kind of eh. Just being real, it is an overall home run, slam dunk, grand slam, whatever you want to call it. But it's very tough to justify sheer amazingness like this and some of the other classic stuff mixed in with the newer things. There's all kinds of nice treats here. I like that Pinocchio cookie dough cone. Jaws Swiss rolls. Hoverboard cupcakes. Donkey s'mores. And so we're walking back to the car to go home, get something to eat. And so it was yet another steamer of a day, plus the rain soaked. We did run into a bunch of friends out there amongst the vlogarazzi. I did think the parade overall, absolutely amazing. The old stuff, the retro pieces, I can't say enough about it. Everything from the float creation down to the detail on the floats, like the T-Rex that's on the Jurassic Park float has like drool coming out of its mouth. Down to the casting, it's just spot on. The Ghostbusters cast, the Jaws cast, and the way that they interact with everybody as they're walking along the route, it's, it's just absolutely amazing. The newer stuff, like Minions and the Sing stuff and everything, I really feel like, you know, they're trying to pull in like maybe the kiddie audience that doesn't know some of the classic stuff, but I don't think that it holds the same weight as uh, the history or the historical stuff that's out there from Jaws and Jurassic Park and Back to the Future and things like that. That's the stuff that really made the audience light up and then I feel like some of the newer stuff was kind of like the sorbet waiting for the retro stuff to come back around again. But overall, one thing after another, Universal's just knock it out of the park. Epic coming along, got the previous center, DreamWorks land, the Cine Spectacular Water Show, and now this parade. Holy cow. All this, and it's like an appetizer for the main course that's due to happen next year when Epic Universe opens up. Holy shit. It's going to be crazy here. But for now, though, I'm going to get out of here. So thanks a lot for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. This was an amazing day out with Jess. I'm so glad that we're able to do these things every so often. I'm glad we're able to share it with you guys. See ya.